Metal spikes installed in alcoves by the entrance to an upmarket block of flats in London are being put in to stop homeless people from sleeping there. Some claim using metal spikes treats homeless people the same way as pigeons. Others say it shows a lack of humanity. Harry Smith reports. It was at the entrance to this block of flats in South London that the spikes appeared. No one seems to know exactly when they were installed or who put them there. But some of the owners of the 20 or so flats said there had been problems with rough sleepers using the doorway. Their reaction to the spikes, though, was mixed. I think they're there to stop beggars and to stop homeless people sleeping there. And do you think that's a good idea? I think it's a good idea. I think that, I mean, it completely affects the way the, the building seems, the appearance, and it's, it's just not very nice, I don't think. We used to have some people would sleep there, homeless people and whatnot, so I think it's probably an anti-homeless person device, but it seems kind of brutish. I, I don't know, I, I'm not particularly fond of seeing that. It's just kind of an odd thing to see when you're coming in and coming back home. There are 19 of these spikes here. They're spaced about uh, six inches to eight inches apart. Um, they're not sharp, but anyone who thinks of bedding down here would find it impossible to get a night's sleep. When pictures of the spikes were posted on Twitter, they caused a storm of protest. One said, they're like the spikes used to keep pigeons off buildings. The destitute are now considered vermin. Another said, there will be a context behind these anti-homeless spikes, possibly a last resort against someone who was aggressive and refused housing. In London, rough sleeping has gone up by a massive 75% in the last three years, with an estimated 6,500 on the streets last year alone. But charities who care for them say spikes are not the answer. I think they're rather a brutal uh, approach at trying to prevent people sleeping rough in a doorway. So I think there's a difference between moving people on, which ultimately doesn't solve the problem, doesn't help people and won't help them. It's just circulating people around London. And local authorities say anyone troubled by rough sleepers would be better advised to contact them or a homeless charity which can help provide a roof to sleep under. Harry Smith reporting.